Is ACZ the imaging technique of his choice uh, to rule out the, the presence of uh, heart disease? Well, uh, ECG is, uh, contains very important information. It is, for me, the first choice. As it is non-invasive, you can easily obtain it and you can obtain a lot of information out of the ECG. And uh, uh, what are the clinical implications of uh, ACZ? So if you analyze the ECG, uh, for instance, you assess autonomic markers, you can stratify patients, you can identify high-risk patients uh, beyond ejection fraction. I think this is the most important aspect with respect to sudden cardiac death risk prediction. Uh, there are uh, um, groups of patients uh, in the, what is the difference about this uh, different group of patients? Well, um, the current guidelines dichotomize patients according to ejection fraction. And in both groups, in those with reduced ejection fraction as well as in those with preserved ejection fraction, autonomic markers assessed from the ECG can contribute a lot to risk prediction. And particularly in patients with preserved ejection fraction, you can identify high-risk patients which are currently not considered for any preventive strategies. And I think this needs to be changed in the future.